This is Harry Driver Boxing Social in association with Fred. We're here at the Peter Fury's gym in Congleton. I'm joined by the one and only William Howe. How are we, first of all? I'm very good, thank you. How are you? Not too bad, not too bad. Tough session this morning, early session this morning. It's handy that you live in the gym to just roll out of bed and rock out and start training. Brilliant. Best way to be, isn't it? You sleep when you're training stuff, roll out and start training straight away. How has it gone? Because, you know, to my mind, you've not turned over pro yet. You're currently, currently still at the amateurs. You know, in terms of your boxing ability, what have you done so far within the amateurs? I've, uh, I've won, I've done really well in it. as an amateur. I've won seven national titles, uh, two European medals, um, but won many multi-nation, multi-international tournaments. Uh, boxed all over Europe, really, Russia been all over uh, many European competitions, I've been all over the world doing it, so I'm quite experienced as a boxer really, as an amateur boxer. Obviously you're in the heavyweight division, um, we had a conversation off camera just now and you mentioned that one of the main reasons you want to turn pro is because of lack of opponents getting an amateur. Well, as an amateur it's really, really hard to get a fight, so I think it'd be better a turn over doing an hard spot anyway, getting paid and learning now, as while I'm still young, mm. to learn that sort of trade while I can now. And I think it's the right time to turn over. You are only 20 years of age. Where do you want to be, let's say, in a year's time? Yeah, it's time hopefully, in a year's time, I can be 5 and 0, something like that. A couple of fights, good. Obviously, I want the best fight. I think just get me learning in that first year, so... Of this time next year, maybe four, five, or five and all. In terms of training down here, brilliant facility, great training team. How much have you enjoyed it so far? Oh, I'm loving it. It's, it's the best way to be. I think training in here, living in the gym. There's no excuses. You're coming out here. It's two sessions a day, two hard sessions a day. And I don't know once I done, I go rest up and I'm, I'm just, I'm in the environment all the time. No distractions, nothing like that. What do you make of the division so far, the, the heavyweight division? Um, it's obviously one of the most exciting divisions to, to go in. It's obviously a little bit nerve-wracking, I would say, to, to that to, to jump into. But in terms of what you see currently going on in the heavyweight division, what do you make of it? Who, who are the, obviously, other than the big, big names, you know, who are the other big names that you see coming through? The other big names coming through, I think there's, there's so many. I think you could name five, six people coming through at the moment. Um, look at all the rosters, Johnny Fisher, um, Nathan Gorman's still about, Nathan Gorman's a big big lad, um, Daniel Dubai's still there, um, David Adderley, Solomon Dartry, he looks a good, good prospect, I think there's a fair few coming through, um, So, I, but I think the division's wide open really, I think other than the big names that you're talking about, who we all know who they are, um, I, think, I think it's wide open, the division. A man sitting behind me is Huey Fury. How do you see him coming up against Marco Hunter? Yet we, we haven't got a, a date yet for that fight. It hasn't been announced. Um, but how do you see him coming up against Hunter for that, in that eliminator for Daniel Dubois' uh, regular title fight? I think uh, I think he's going to be too big for him. I think Mike Lunt uh, is a good good everywhere. I think he's he's the bogey man of the division. I think a lot of everywhere struggle with him. But I think Yui knows he's going to be a lot bigger, a lot stronger, and I think Yui's going to just put it on him, really. I think that's what he's going to do. I think I can see Yui doing the business with him, really. Watching him training in here and sparring with him, I think he's going to do the business, really. If he does win, he does get the opportunity to fight for Daniel Dubois' title, the regular title. You know, great performance last out for Daniel Dubois in, in, in America. Um, how do you think Huey fares in that fight? Um, I think the box is his edger. I think just go out and box him and make him what, dance around him a bit and I think he'll just tie, tie him up and tire him out and I think Daniel about will get frustrated. I think we watched that with Joe Joyce. Mm. I think uh, he comes forward a lot. He's a big puncher. But I think if you can go forward, frustrate him, I think he gets worn out. The big main fight of the weekend is AJ Usyk. Just get your thoughts on that one. Um, I see Uzik. No matter what Joshua does, Joshua comes forward. He'll get tired out, and I think Uzik's put the weight on to put him away. And if Joshua sits back and tries to let him come forward, I think 
he'll fall on his shot. That's why I think he's put the weight on, put the weight on to stop him. You've obviously, you know, being a heavyweight yourself, obviously watching what's going on in, in the division, watch the AJ Usyk fight. How would you box Usyk? It seems that this man has every answer to every question posed towards him. Would you would you rough him up? Would you you know how would you do it? I think that's a way forward with Usyk. I think get stuck in his face, rough him up, make make him make him think. I think he he relies on a lot of what you're doing. I think if you put it on him, rough. I think when I watch that Derek Chisora fight, I know Derek just ran at him. I think well, that's the way to get him, rough him up. I know he's a lot bigger now than what he was. So I think the way forward is to just get at him, rough him up, and sort of just tear, tear him down really later. Well, thanks for talking to Boxing Social. We will catch up soon once you make your pro debut, whenever you get a date for that. Cheers. Thank you very much.